Electro here, just doing a video on um, vaporising metals. Now, there are plenty of ways of vaporising metals, but uh, one of the easiest ways of doing it is through heat. What I'm using here is a um, vacuum chamber, which is a cast iron chamber there. It's got a viewing glass on the top of it, and um, it holds an induction unit, which is an induction core there, and a crucible holder, etc. So what I want to do is put a crucible in. Now this is a, um, a cobalt chrome alloy I've been working with. Now as we know, uh, cobalt is magnetic, but chrome is not. So, but also uh, cobalt melts at about 1500 Celsius, whereas chrome melts at about 1900 Celsius. So what I'm hoping to do is, uh, when I melt the metals, keep increasing the temperature to the point where the cobalt vaporises out. Now, I'll use the, the, the chrome in the, the mix here as a sort of heat carrier, if you know what I mean. And that'll, um, oops, hang on, well, I'll just align the ingot. Okay, so... Anyway, without further ado, close the vacuum chamber, choose the alloy, pre melt. Now, I'll flip the viewing glass back until it heats up properly. We should see it start to glow any minute. There's quite a lump of metal there, so here we go. This is just being heated up by induction. The sound you heard first was the vacuum chamber evacuating, it just pulled the vacuum in there. This reduces the oxidation of the metal. Viewing glass back on. Yep. Too bad you guys can't see the effects that I'm seeing because I'm seeing the uh, shadows, the eddy currents flowing through the metal. It's, um, it's quite mesmerising actually, but uh, the, the camera doesn't seem to be picking it up. But anyway, it should melt soon and form into a ball, a slump. Too bad you guys can't see the skin characteristics either as um, the internal of the metal heats up and melts. It uh, starts seeping through. Here we go. It's breaking up. It's starting to swell. Oops, sorry about that. Now you can see off to the sides of that, there's that vapour that I was talking about. You can see it just going to the crucible wall. And see that white ring forming around the crucible wall? That's the deposition of the vapour. That's the machine that just triggered itself off there. It's, it's um, I was melting the metal for too long. It didn't want to overload itself and basically give itself a meltdown. So anyway, should be able to take that out. There's the molten metal in there. And there's the deposition ring that I was talking about. Quite clearly visible now around the crucible. Now 
and as it was affected from the magnetic field it didn't rise up it just went straight to the side and it was obviously following the magnetic field lines as it was going through the metal so um, yeah there you go a vaporized cobalt for the magnetic gas the, the MIME EPG post your comments bye